All right. I am making <clears throat> another one of these. This time we're making a huge size 16. So, um, haven't made a ring that big. Also testing out the GoPro, making sure that it doesn't cut videos like it did the last time. I made three videos from one. So I'm not sure why it did that, but hoping it doesn't do that this time. So we're gonna make one of these. This is a size 11. And we're gonna make this into a size 16. So it's a huge stretch, huge, big. We're gonna have to actually use special tools to make it work. Cause I think this will only stretch to about a 15. So we're gonna get creative here. So we're trying some POV action. I got some random music playing in the background. Uh, so you may or may not hear it. I'm kind of hoping that you don't hear it just cause I don't want to get copyright issues or anything like that. But um, if you do hear it, big deal. I'll get a copyright or two or three or four. All right, so we're gonna probably cut a pretty big punch in this to begin with, because we're gonna be stretching it so far that um, it's, 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 it's gonna be a tough stretch, I'm just saying. So we're gonna go with a three quarter inch punch This is a automatic center punch. So it'll find the center for us. If I can get it to twist. Dang it, everything fell out. <laughs> oh my. Is this gonna work? The coin fell out of place. If it falls to the side, it makes it a little tough. It'll center punch. It'll center the coin once I get it twisted on here. All right. This might get a little loud. There is our center punch. Size 16, man, that's a big one. So this will be everything that we're gonna be seeing. This will be all the detail on the outside. So, need to clean this cut side up a little bit. I really like this point of view camera. I hope I can really figure this GoPro out so I can make some quality videos of artwork. Kind of give you a different point of view, different perspective. Kind of see what I see, you know. Hopefully I'm getting everything in shot. And I'm not really gonna do a lot of explaining on this video. I just did a video where I explained how I made one of these. I think the only time I'll get into details when we get to the special tools that we'll have to use to, to make this happen. I'm gonna actually kinda try to make this video 
and ring at normal speed without having to take a lot of breaks to explain or show on camera. Again, my last my last ring I did today, the one I showed at the big, big beginning of the video, was uh, for some reason the GoPro cut it into three videos. And I don't have anything set up to do that. So I'm wondering, kind of wondering why. All right, that cut hole looks really nice. So, there we go. Gonna heat it up actually before we get going. Looks good. Let's see how far we gotta stretch this guy. Quite a bit. We're sitting at about 13. Going for a 16. That's quite a stretch. And again, like I said, we are pretty close to as big as we can get. It might stretch to a 16. I'm not even sure. I don't know if I've if I've tried that yet. Let's heat this up to make this bad boy nice and pliable. I want it to be a nice soft metal. Make it soft. Easier to move. I dip that enough. I hate to dip just half of it and then burn myself. I burned myself so many times. All right. Stretch this thing to the max. See how our cut side looks. Looks good. No fractures yet. Still looks pretty good. See what size this thing is. I don't even know if I can size a 16. I would have to guesstimate. Be like, yeah, it feels like a 16. Um, but to be honest, I think <laughs> I think we're pretty close on this ring already. So I want to add a uh, a reed to this side. So we're gonna knock that out real quick. Before we go any further because really we're super close on this thing we're going to be hitting the very outside if we do that one if we do this one we've got a little bit more room to work with around the edge 
So we're gonna go with this other tool I have, which I believe this is the first time using it. So let's see if we like it. Okay. I like to rotate as I go to make sure I'm pressing all sides properly. Be curious if I like this reed. I, I have never used this tool. I got it as a backup. And it looks like I found a use for it. That looks nice. So I'm happy with that. So now we need to shape this thing up nice. And we're gonna shrink it, shrink it up a little bit. We're looking probably like at about a size 17 or so. So I think I'm just gonna see what we got going on here. I'm kinda hoping that this might be the perfect, perfect tool right here to use. And let's just see. I don't really need to protect the detail because the detail goes into the coin. Let's see where this puts us. If we press it down here all the way. 